As long as the camera can hear you, no saying we ain't worried about it. Yeah, yeah, as long as the camera can hear you. First Peter, the first chapter of the fourth verse. What chapter four, verse one? Yeah, first Peter, fourth chapter, verse one. That's all good. Read. For as much then as Mashiach hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. First and foremost, we want to uh, give all praise, all the glory to the heavenly Father, the Holy Son, Son, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Akadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder Vince the great millstone. The one that taught us the one who said truth comes to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep beating. My God's so people here for a bit. Our Lord and Savior suffers. So that's the time that we're living in. We're living in the time of suffering. But once again, the Lord ain't gonna put nothing on us that we can't handle, you know? Excuse me, say, arm, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. See, Lord Yahweh I knew that he was gonna have to suffer. He knew before he even came down here that he was gonna have to suffer. He was on a mission when he came down here. We were sent down here on a mission, man. And part of the mission is suffering, man. All right? Suffering and enduring, Lord willing, whatever comes our way. So read that again. You got a definition for something? Yeah. All right, hold it, hold it, bro. Go ahead, bro. This is yeah, I'll bring it out again. Okay. okay. This is First Peter, the fourth chapter, of the, the fourth chapter, first verse, read. Right. For as much then as Mashiach. Yahweh Shah, who the called Jesus. Let me just say Yahweh Shah. Say Yahweh Shah. Right, who the enemy called Jesus. Go ahead. Now suffered for us in the flesh. Right. So that's the scripture right there, cutting. He was just a spirit. It says the Lord suffered in the flesh. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the Lord walked around just like us, man. He felt. He got sad. He cried. He could feel things. He got hurt. The Lord suffered in the flesh. It says, look, we know that Lord Yahweh Shai suffered in the flesh. Arm yourself with the same like mind. And we're going to get that word suffer. But you read that word suffer already, right? Right. Well, let's get that word suffer. Because everybody, you got this like bro, you got these pastors in the church that's teaching our people that all, everything's all lovely and hunky-dory. You ain't got to go through nothing. No, you got to go through the same thing the Lord did. Remember, um, the servant's not greater than his um, Lord. That's right. We'll bring it out, bro. You can elaborate on it. This is the word suffer. It's this an uh, Intamon dictionary. It's a word. It means it's an action. It said from the mid-13th century to allow to occur, to continue to permit, to tolerate, says to fail to prevent or to suppress it says to me to undergo or endure right to be subjected to pain so so it's subjected to that you mean you can't even gain run from it. that's right you know what i'm saying that's right this is one of the things that happen to you on this earth man you suffer you um you feel affliction you feel pain heartaches i mean we're we gonna pretty much lose everything on the side you know what i mean that's right Family members are gonna depart. Things like that's all part of the suffering. You're gonna lose your job. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna even lose your life, Lord willing. You know what I'm saying? It's the Lord's will. But the Lord said, arm yourself likewise with the same mind as Lord Yahweh Shai did. So what, bro? Yes, he said that. It says, to undergo or endure or be subjected to pain. Right, that's why the scripture said endure hardness as a good soldier. That's right. And the word endure means to make hard. Everything that we're going through right about now is making us hard to what's really coming. It's making us numb. That's like if you ain't never been through no suffering or you've been through any pain or any kind of afflictions or hard times, when it come upon you for the first time, you're going to lose your mind. But so much affliction and hard times and suffering is coming upon us. That's meant to where we're going to be like fucking like numb to what really come. You know what I'm saying? When it really go down, we're going to be pretty much numb to when it really go down, man. And these church people, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really going through nothing. Look, they're going to crumble and fold, man. Because they're not suffering like us, man. They're not preparing their minds to suffer. They think it's going to be all love, love. That's what the pastors teach, you know what I'm saying? You know, they say everything's all love, love, right? They teach you prosperity, you know what I'm saying? Which is, um, you having everything, no. We teach you, you know what I'm saying, there's going to be hard days. Now, everything ain't all bad either. So you got to take the good with the bad, you know what I'm saying, the, um, the ugly with the sad. The Lord is perfect balance. Then we're going to go back here. It says, and this is, like I said before, this is a quick little lesson, a four camp lesson on just suffering, man. All Israel was going to have to go through, you know what I mean? That's right. You got it. Man. It says, uh, it says, Suffer is to undergo and endure to be subjected to pain, right. death, punishment, mm -hmm. judgment, and grief. Boy, they want you. Fine. You know, so, you know, it, it said that our Lord Yahweh, who's what he calls Jesus Christ, had to undergo 
these things mm-hmm. and everything that we read he went through right. you know pain death you know uh punishment judgment grief he mm-hmm. went through all these things and also says you know to suffer means to go under all these things so our lord Yogi Awasha, he was in the flesh he, even though he didn't sin right. he felt the pull because mm-hmm. you know to be in this flesh you feel the pull of, of, of sin right you know things weren't trying to lure you to, to go off mm-hmm. he felt all those things that's why he's the perfect mediator man because yep. he, he knows exactly how it feels to be in this flesh yeah perfect example oh yeah the scriptures say um the spirit is truly willing but the flesh is weak so we got, that's why we got to constantly pray man because we're in this weak sinful flesh man you know, this flesh loves flesh who don't love flesh no one loves to suffer but this is part of the battle this is part of the walk what is that from? Uh, just, uh, just a little bit more. It yeah, says, go suffer, goes into suffering. And, uh, and the word net. It says, uh, suffer to undergo, be subjected to any injuries or illnesses or experience losses. Right, and those are some of the things that, that comes with the um, with the bill. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. You're going to suffer losses, man. Lose jobs, family members. Wives, you name it, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters. It's all part of it. But then, just like Job, he lost everything, but then he gained it right back. But just staying faithful to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So, no matter what we lose on this side, you're going to get it a hundredfold, man. So, I mean, what it, what it is. is it? Um, if that's the end of that, I want you to hold, um, say, Matthew 5 and 10. Yeah, read that last one. And then get uh, Matthew 5 and start verse 10. But I want him to finish that first. Go ahead. And it, and it puts a uh, good one in a good sentence of the Spirit. It says, the suffering is birth. And then the sentence it says, many saints suffered more. Right. So the saints, the eight, a.k.a. the host of elect, I'm saying are going to suffer, man. Mm-hmm. All right? I mean, the whole earth is going to suffer, but when we suffer, we got the Lord on our side, you know what I'm saying, just holding it together for us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? To where the suffering won't be unbearable. You know what I'm saying? It's going to seem like you ain't going to be able to bear it, but the Lord, once again, ain't going to put nothing on us we can't handle. It. So whatever we're going through right about now, the Lord knows we can handle it because it wouldn't be put on you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So let's finish that right quick and then I'll get that Matthew. Oh, yeah, already? Okay. We'll start at verse 10. Read it again. Compass from the top. I'll read it. First Peter, the fourth chapter, the first verse reads, right. For as much then as Yehoshua hath suffered for us in the flesh, right. arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Right. Be prepared and know that you won't have to go through something. You know, and the Lord said, um, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trials, but things just come out of the blue. One one day, no saying, in one minute everything's all lovey dovey then. Here we go. Look, look. Oh shit, look, look. Here we go. <laughs> you, you already know it, man. So when it comes like, I already know it. It's all tests. The Lord wanna see how we're gonna see now. The Lord got us being built up with his word, right? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna when you start going through these fiery trials, are you gonna apply the scriptures? We ain't, we ain't got this for nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the blueprint for a reason. So when all these things start happening, you might lose your job, lose family members, hurt your knee, you know what I'm saying? Anything. End up in the concentration camp. Are you going to lean to your own understanding or are you going to constantly trust in the Lord? Mm-hmm. That's why we're reading these scriptures to, to trust more and more to the Lord. And look, this man got 144 right there. 144. I'm, I'm saying 144 <laughs> right there. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> and you know the Lord is speaking, man. That's right. That's right. Read on, bro. That's right. Sis. For he hath suffered in the flesh, right. hath ceased from sin. Right. Now that, that, right. Right. Okay. Verse 2, that, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh right. to the lust of men, right. but to the will of power. So that's all about, you know what I'm saying, trusting in the Lord and doing the will of Yahweh. But she, I was shot. And that's, see, we, we did our thing, our thug thugs, so to speak, in the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the Lord has called us out of the world. So now we're doing everything to the will of Yahweh. But she, I was shot. Now. And the will of the Lord is for us to suffer. That's the end of that, right? That's all the way. I want you to hold me um, hold me 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. You still holding the other one, though? Yeah. I that Philippians? Yeah. yeah we're going to get that. Well, I'll read yours. Right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 10. And it reads, it says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness. Right, suffering, suffering. Lord Yahweh was persecuted, who they even call Jesus, he was persecuted for righteousness sake. They ain't do nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? The only thing is told the truth. So we're going to be persecuted for teaching the truth. Remember, squeeze the eat, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, so the wicked is ruling the earth right about now. So why we, and the scriptures say, suffer for our well doing instead of wrongdoing. So, you, so if you get persecuted, you want to get persecuted for righteousness. 
you, wanna, you most definitely don't want to suffer as a murderer or for an evil doer that's going to be 10 times worse. Because she would say seven, four, four more for the sins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a complete number of things are going to happen to the wicked of our people. It might just be one thing that happened to us, you know what I'm saying, to end up just, to end all, be it all, man. Yeah. Like, like we constantly going through things now, but it might just be one particular thing that the Lord do when we out of here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the ninja lights, they, 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 they smoking, doing what they got to do. But, but, I mean, people walking around smoking like a shit legal, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it is what it is. We're in Babylon. That's right. Finish that off. Okay. Right. It says, <clears throat> you read again? Yes. It's verse 10 of Matthew uh, 5 and 10. Right. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Right. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Right. And that's what we're fighting for. That's what we're suffering for. To get a seat in the kingdom, man. Which will be played out on earth. Lord Yahweh shall come back. And if you might get chariots, what they eagerly call UFOs. Lord, when are we of that number? That's what we're suffering for. For a seat in the kingdom, man. That's what we were suffering for righteousness sake, man. Theirs is the kingdom, man. Go ahead, brother. Read on. Verse, uh, verse 11. And the reason says, Blessed are ye, and men shall revile you. Right. And persecute you. Right. And say all manner of evil against you falsely. All a part of the suffering. You know what I'm saying? Is that not going on right about now? Mm -hmm. Mainly, you no know, saying, speaking of um, great millstone, the apostles, the elder bishops, and the men on down, we're being persecuted, we're being um, defamed, mm -hmm. lied on, our names been slandered all over the internet, and we ain't did shit, but just talking the truth. That's why these guys are going to pay so come, man. Right. Slandering our names, saying um, we um, rapists, and all this other nonsense, we ain't touched no damn by the men. We just broke out the law, and if it happened, you know what I'm saying? What would happen? What would be the penalty for it? You know what I'm saying? Right. What would be the outcome for it? We're not actually promoting it. We're just going into how it used to be in the ancient times. We know we're in Sleazy East Kingdom. He got laws set up that we're going to have to follow to the best of our ability. But we're just going to hide the Lord with his laws set, you know what I'm saying, according to great. But we're being slandered and persecuted, you know what I'm saying? We're just bringing out the law on it, bro. Mama boys, man, they all don't go out to pay, bro. It's going to be a beautiful thing when we see the Lord put fire to their ass. But we got to suffer that. Right. We got to suffer that right about now. It's going to say, um, they don't, they don't persecute you for righteousness sake. But you look, happy is he, right? That's right. Let's read on. Okay. Definition yeah. Yep. Definition of the word without. It's a verb. It says to debase, to degrade. Right. They, they're trying to debase us and degrade us, man. That's right. You know? With these slanderous tactics, man. Because they ain't got nothing else, man. They ain't got the scriptures in them. You know what I'm saying? That's right. The only thing you got to do is just read the scripture. <laughs> go into the meaning of the words. Oh, okay, okay. But now, bro, they all of a sudden trying to bring out um, Deuteronomy 22 and 28. Even though they came against us for years, man, this thing been going on for like 10 years and better, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Brother been being prosecuted for bringing out um, Deuteronomy 22 and 28 for over 10 years. Now. 10 years, man. You been hearing that 10 years on the internet, man. You know what I mean? The people believe that shit. So the Lord will have to make a move on them, man. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, you know, they say uh, lies are more uh, attractive than the truth. Yeah, yeah. So if people believe a lie because it's more entertaining. Hi. Go ahead, my brother. Man, you speak before. Got all that money. Ain't no need to you speak. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But that's how out of yeah. order everything gets. We're being persecuted, you know what I'm saying? Because we want to mess with single women. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is in Babylon, man. Every, every, every man here in Babylon wants a uh, woman that has a man, not us. So we're going to be persecuted for that, man. You ain't cool no more, man. You know that shit, double the sweet on that, man. It says, <clears throat> from the mid 14th century, to insult, right. to taunt, to assault. Every time we walk up on another camp, you know, so we just ask about um, what is um, Revelation 13, 16 talking about? Well, who, who are y'all affiliated with? Great mill stuff. Oh, yeah, them the greatest right there. Know what I'm saying, bro? Instead of having a, um, a dialect, you know what I'm saying? And go back and forth with the scriptures say, first thing they bring out is that slander, bro. You get know? on the microphone and everything. Great! Yeah, yeah, start Great. yelling out, right? Yeah, know what I'm saying? Watch your daughters and all. And when they pay, man, and brothers up here got daughters, man. Go ahead, bro. He says, to assault. What's going on, man? Go ahead, bro. bro. This shit's... Go ahead, bro. He says, to, to assault. With abusive language. Oh, yeah, no, so remember they said we're going to get the physical gloves out there? That time, remember that? So basically, they want to call us physical harm for, for um, bringing out a scripture, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't get the polite, you know what I'm saying? Nobody like that. I'm going to get the physical gloves out and see vain. We get people vain, you know, selfies. Everybody's vain, yo. And we're going to suffer because we're not with them. Remember that the world loves its own? If you were of the world, the world, the world would love you. Just let me paraphrase it. Go ahead, bro. This 
access to assault with abusive language. See? See? Don't say that. <laughs> slander, right, with abusive language. That's right. That's what I'm saying. It's not like, it's just what I'm saying, bro. It's like when you come to the world, prepare that for the temptation. It's always going to be something trying to tell you. Bro. That, that, that's like, it's just standing spirit, man. Yeah, bro. It says to consider thou, to despise, to scorn. Right, they hate us, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These people hate us, they scorn us, man. They scorn us to death, they mock, they stop. So the Lord said it's all part of the suffering. Just bring out one more definition for so we can wrap it up and get these uh, scriptures out. Okay. It says to be dishonored. Yeah. Yeah, remember the Lord's Lord scripture say um, we are honored and we're despised. So the so the Lord is honored, being honored right about now. You know what I'm saying? In the heavens and through us, we're being despised. You know what I'm saying? Like it's what it is what it is. It has to happen. This has to happen. That's it on that bro. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, that's it. Yeah, 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 this is, uh, this is Matthew 5 and 12. It says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Right. For, and, some, and sometimes it's easier said than done. Yeah. And the Lord said, when all these things come upon you, all these sufferings, all these afflictions, slanders, mockings, revives, look, look, rejoice and leap with joy. You know what I'm saying? Lord, cold, ain't The Lord said, be happy when all these things come upon you. And it's going to tell you what. Go ahead, right? It says, it says, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Right. For great is your reward in heaven. See, we got a great reward in heaven if we endure all these suffering, right? Go ahead. That's why, that's why I'm blessed to see that reading. This is a comfort of scripture right here. Everything that we're going through right about now, the Lord's like, yo, if you endure everything that I'm taking you through, this is the Lord actually taking us through this, right? You have a you have a, a, a glorious seat in, in the kingdom, man. Right? Your reward is going to be great, man, in the kingdom, man. Right? That's right. Yeah. It says, for your reward is great in heaven, says for so persecuted they the prophets that were before you right so you know what i'm saying take this scripture for an example man. all the prophets that came before us was treated the same way and worse you know what i'm saying remember uh, the apostle peter you know what I'm saying, was hung upside down yeah. you know what i'm saying we remember all the prophets that went through some meshach shamrach and abednego they got thrown in a fiery furnace man you know what i'm saying look suffering for life and saying then the lord come through you know what i'm saying daniel got thrown in the lion's den lawyer i wish i know saying got slew on a tree all for living a righteous life, man. Look, look, we gotta have to go through it. Uh, 11 of the 12 apostles all got, you know, deleted. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. Uh, only one. All the stuff on uh, John the Revelator. Yep. Yeah, so. And he got thrown, uh, thrown in the salt, salt mine. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We're going a pretty deal here. They're trying to boil them too. Yeah. In Greece. They yep. tried to boil them in Greece. And then when that didn't work, yeah. put them in the salt yeah. mine, man. Right? Yep. So let's go back here. That was the end of that. Yep. So let's go back here. Um, what are you holding, bro? I'm holding that uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and... 2 Second, Cor Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Salakia. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. And bro, you hold 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. I mean, so many other scriptures that we can bring out. Oh, yeah. Um, before you even get all that, you mean um, Revelation 2 and 10, okay? You know what I'm saying? Revelation 2 and 10. Right? Yeah. And, and tell me that one was some demonic uh, for the activity. Right <laughs> yeah. What, was it or not? You know what I'm saying? I mean, your one was totally out of order. That dude was totally out of order. Well, look, why, why here? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Why here? <laughs> I mean, you, you put your um, little motorcycle down and everything, and your one was coming. That's what I'm saying. That, that was out of order right there. She did, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a, a man of like mine would have oops upside their head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, let's get that done for that uh, revelation. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Right. And it reads, it says, Fear none of those things. Which thou shalt suffer. And that's what the lesson is about. It's about suffering. And this red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai, we didn't even call Jesus, it says, Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer, meaning we're going to have to go through it. Mm -hmm. Everything we're going to have to go through, the Lord's like, Don't fear none of it. Right. Have confidence, have faith in me. I didn't bring, the Lord ain't bring us this far just to leave us for dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got to know that it's got to be embedded up here, man. You got to be meditated. That's why the, the scriptures tell us to meditate upon these words, man. You know, got to be like ongoing study, man, so we get, get built up on a level to where our faith is being built up, you know? But these people, you know what I'm saying, they, they trust in their Bentleys and things of that nature. Look, that's not going to help you out with all hell break loose. Mm -hmm. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, this is what's going to keep us stable. Not a Bentley, yo. They look, we was looking nice, and they were chilling or whatever, but this word is more precious than anything that these people can have, man. Mm -hmm. Nothing is to be desired over this word, you know what I'm saying? You got it, bro. Yeah, so the word said, don't fear. 
you were saying the uh, scripture that we read before and after, but be exceedingly glad. Right. So when these things happen unto us, you know, uh, if we have the apostles and elders of great Wilson for example, you know, when things happen unto them, they rejoice. Because mm -hmm. they know that, what, this is the testament that we're doing the right thing. That's right. You know? Well, sit back and watch the Lord work. That's right. all. <laughs> don't get all antsy, no saying, um, all jittery and all that. We ain't in flesh, so of course, you don't get kind of nervous or whatever, but that spirit got to kick in, man. That faith got to kick in, and it's going to kick in. You see? It says, read again, this is Revelation 2 and unless, 10. You, unless you've been faking it the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's going to, uh, it says, every man work shall be tried, man, by fire, man. Right. You got it, bro. It says, this is Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right. Behold. It says, the, it says, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. What does the word devil mean? The word devil means deceiver or slanderer. It's talking about sleazy heat. It's going to cast some of the men of the Lord in concentration camps. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's like, yo, don't fear none of that. Mother go days without food, days without water. You know what I'm saying? Without a roof over your head. All, all the above, man, put them all in one pot. We might have to end up going through it. But the Lord said, when you get thrown into prison, don't even worry about it. I delivered the apostle on Peter. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, had an angel come and deliver him out of that thing. Come on, man. The Lord's getting ready to show off too, man. The Lord's getting ready to stunt too. Now, some of us are going to be martyrs. We don't know who lot that's going to be, but, you know what I'm saying, for a testimony of you, how about you, you know what I'm saying, for a witness or whatever. But not every Israelite man, you know what I'm saying, a prophet going to die. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said there'll be some standing here should not taste death. You know what I'm saying? So some of us are going to get locked up in the concentration camp, and the Lord will have an angel. Or an angel could be just like a CEO. CEO, know what I'm saying? Hey, look, look, like, 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 now we in the flesh, so it don't feel good all the time. But the Lord's like, look, you gotta think now. What we're going through right about now leads to an everlasting kingdom, you know what I'm saying? And an everlasting life. You never die again. Spiritual power, and your, your heart's desire. You mean to tell me we don't want to go through this light affliction? But the Lord, <laughs> even though it doesn't feel good, we're in this flesh, Lord, like, I'm gonna give you a new body. One thing you need to do is to endure. You know what I'm saying? Everything that I'm throwing at you, man. Just catch it. When I throw something at you, don't try to dodge, don't try to dodge it. Catch it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Catching the holy man, and I got you, yo. Go ahead, bro. It says, and ye may be tried, right? And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Right, you gonna catch some hell, a period of time. Go ahead. That's right. That thou be thou faithful unto death. Right, some of us might have to lose our lives. Be thou faithful unto death. Sleazy he coming with that nonsense, he coming with that grain of rice. It's either the grain of rice or death. You know to take death. That's right. Lord said, um, be thou faithful unto death. And what, bro? It says, and I will give you a crown of life. And Lord Yahweh is written in red, is going to give us, Lord, when we have that number, a crown of life, man. Send a crown on your head, you know what I'm saying? Amen. From the Lord of Lords, the kings of kings, man. And uh, plus, this is our creator, you know what I'm saying? Right. This is our creator talking, man. Because the Heavenly Father created Lord Yahweh Shai. But said, Lord Yahweh Shai created all the other spirits, man. So you got your father, you know what I'm saying? Lord Yahweh Shai is our father, man. And the Heavenly Father, who is the Heavenly Father, you know what I'm saying? But who, who is our father? You know what I'm saying? Lord Yahweh Shai, he created us, man. Through the blueprint of the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh, man. Man, the, the Most High Yahweh, man. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Neither his ways are our ways. Man, he's far out, man. He's far out, man. You know, and the Lord got things set up, you know what I'm saying, in, in his works, man. Maybe at least like. You know, and, and I start each and every one of our stories, you know what I'm saying, the Lord got things set up, you know what I'm saying, to where you're going to go through this, you're going to believe, you're going to have faith, then I'm going to deliver you from whatever you're going through. It is what it is. That's the end of that, right? Uh, can I just read verse 12? Okay? Yeah, go ahead. It says, verse 12, it, it's like, verse 11, it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear. Right. What the Spirit saith unto the churches. Right. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Right. The second death is when the missiles sing, that lake of fire. Right. And then the scriptures say, um, he that overcometh and keeps my works until the end, the same will I give you power over the nation. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna rule them with a rod of iron. We just gotta go through the suffering now. You know what I'm saying? After the suffering, we're gonna rule these nations with a rod of iron, yo. Just coming through real boss style. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kings, man. 
the, then you can say the kings are in their building, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right about now, we're still servants, you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, we're princes, of course, you know what I'm saying? Without crowns, man. We haven't been crowned yet. That's right. We, we, we're here to serve right now. But you got compassion? Uh, holding that Second Corinthians. Uh, Your fourth, fourth 17. chapter, 17 verse yeah. 3. Because talk about you can break that down. Mm -hmm. For yeah. our light affliction, mm -hmm. which is but for a moment. So the things that we're suffering, as Brother Beautifully said, is what it's a light affliction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These things that we're going through are not to be compared to, as the scripture say, what things that we're going to receive in the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven. Right? Right, so this, this is very light. You know, compared to what we're going to receive, what right? We're going to to the left. Right. Work it for us. Oh yeah, in the same, but for a moment. Yeah. Meaning, what we're going through right about now is not going to last all eternity. You know, saying it's not going to. This is not going to be happening a hundred years from now, man. We're not going to be out here in the street corners catching hell at work, going through it with our women and things that are being deprived for the next thousand years, man. It's not going to happen, man. The kingdom of heaven is fastly approaching. The scripture says it's nearer than what we believe. Mm -hmm. You got to go. You know, in, in the span of eternity. This is a small moment. Hell yeah, you know? bro. And then, uh, you know, you got, it's gonna be like, damn, that did happen. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know? Uh, a little minute second, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Think back on uh, Compared happened. to all eternity, you know what I'm saying? This is just like a millisecond compared to all eternity, man. That's right. Ruling forever and ever, man. Just the Lord like, yo, just go through this right quick. You almost there. That's right. <laughs> you, you, you right there, you know what I'm saying? You like right at the door, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I'm about to push you through that door, though. That's right. That's right. Okay. Work it for us. A far more exceeding an eternal weight of glory. Well, so everything that we're going through, it's nothing to be compared to the things that we're going to receive. It's going to be eternal, mm -hmm. you know, everlasting. Right. You know, you're going to be like, hey, you know, you're not even going to have the count time. No right, more. right, you know? right. You know, that's if you want, that's if, and that's if you want to. It's like, yeah. oh, well, oh, it's this year, there, you know, it right. is what it is. Right. You know? But it's going to be eternal, ongoing forever, you know. I was like it, bro. You know what the Lord said in um, Romans, um, what is it, Romans um, 8? Yeah, Romans 8, he was like, um, um, I reckon that the servants of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be re revealed in us, man. Right. So what we going through right about now is now. Brothers going to be flying soon, come, man. Mm -hmm. right. Reappearing, disappearing, you know what I'm saying, um, traveling in the galaxies and all that, man, going from planet to planet, galaxy to galaxy, never ending galaxies, man. Because mm -hmm. right. the Lord, Lord Yahweh is trying to say, my father's house is many mansions, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 you, it's ongoing planets. You, you, you would never say, oh, yeah, that's the last planet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you would never be able to say, oh yeah, the Lord created a billion planets. It's, you can't put a number on nothing, man. We're gonna just be traveling, learning new things each and every day, man. To look, look bro, uh, forever, man. Forever, man. Forever. You can see it, man. Just, you know, having all these things, you know, uh, children upon children upon yeah. children, you know, beautiful women that are in order. Yeah. You know, all these things, you know, ruling over the nations, all these things are uh, accounted for the after this suffering. Yeah. You know? This is, that's what we're waiting on, and that's why it's worth suffering yeah. in this life, because we have something greater to, uh, to receive at the end of it. It's, it's most definitely worth fighting for. That's right. You want that book? Uh, got 18 there, so you want to read it. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, second Corinthians, the fourth, uh, the fourth chapter, the 18th verse reads, While we look not at the things which are seen, mm -hmm. but at the things which are not seen. And that's what keeps us pushing. Yep, that's right. Because well, we have the vision of the kingdom of heaven. Right? Yep. And, you know, we're looking at it because without a vision, people you know, are perished. So what, what? The elected nation of Israel, they see, they see the kingdom. Yep. Right? They see it, man. They got that vision, that tunnel vision. Yep. The eyesight. That's right. You know, the Lord has opened up their eyes to see that. Look, this world is falling. All right, and what? Just to suffer through this little thing going on right now. And guess what? There's going to be something greater for you as mm -hmm. you kept faithful into the words of the Howard by Shema Oshadi, the Holy Ghost God in Jesus Christ. Yep. Uh, something like that? Uh, more, more, more. For the things which are seen are temporal. You know what? What we see all around us is just temporary. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to last very long. Yep. Even the suffering. That's right. Even the suffering, right? You know? Everything that we're experiencing in, the, in this flesh is only but safe for a moment. Yep. Yeah. But the things which are not seen, we, we don't physically see the kingdom of heaven. But the Lord has had us, you know, and you got to, you know, thank you all about Shema Shai because they have that vision that, be really, that's the Lord giving us a little ounce of spiritual power to yeah. see. Yeah, yep. Because everybody else, they, they can't see. Yeah. You know, but we have the eyesight to see that, what, the kingdom is here. Yep. The kingdom of heaven is near, you know, and, and stay on that same, that same path 
unto in righteousness, man. We're going to end it off, because uh, I have a homie on uh, Hebrews uh, 6 and 10. Yeah. We'll end it off on that. I think Kapasha got like two. I most definitely want that um, the First Corinthians 10 and 13. I want that. We'll, we'll finish what you got. Um, First Corinthians uh, 10 and 13, and then we'll finish up with Hebrews um, 6 and 10. Come on, wrap it up right there. So it's any more to that what you was reading on? Yeah, there was a little more. Uh, Go ahead, read, but, let's read that. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Yeah, so we see what the kingdom of heaven is eternal. Yep. All right. In the spirit, we see, as the scriptures say, we behold the face of the heavenly Father, who is only begotten Son, by reading these scriptures. So we see the face of the heavenly Father, who is only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shemel All right. Those are, look, they're, they're eternal. So why, so why die for this shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. When, it, when it, all this is temporal, man. That's right. If we do have to suffer or have to lose our life, we're losing our life for things that are eternal. You know what I'm saying? Things that are going to last That's forever, right. man. That's right. Meaning right. the kingdom of heaven, which will be played out on earth. You know what I'm saying? And it's near to what we believe, man. And that's our faith. So let's, so let's get the um, last two. Let's get, the, uh, let's get, yeah, let's get that uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. And then we'll get that Hebrews 6 and 10. And okay. then we'll wrap it up. Let's get that one. Right All right. This is 1 Corinthians. As long as the camera can hear you, everybody else ain't got to hear you. Okay. This is 1 Corinthians. Yes. The 10th chapter. The 13th verse reads, yeah. There hath no temptation taken you but the such as is common to man. Right, so everything that we're going through, you can't just say, oh yeah, man, I'm, why am I going through this? Why am I going through that? Like you're the only one going through something. Every man is being tempted. Mm -hmm. Every man that came before us was being tempted. You know what I'm right. saying? From the beginning of the time, Adam was tempted. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can't be the only person Why my son. Why, why, why? Why am I? I'm catching hell. I'm catching hell. Everybody catching hell. Just suffer through it, man. All this is common to man. Yeah, like you, you, what you're going through is not common to anybody but you. Come on, man. That's why your brother got to know saying, wake the hell up, man. Know that you're not the only one going through something. Hey, there's other brothers that can't hardly pay their bills. There's other brothers that got illness, uh, fucking relationship problems, everything, man. You, you just name it, man. Everybody's going through something, man. Consider it, man. Yeah. Go ahead. But the most, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, yep. is faithful. Through his only begotten son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's faithful. Go ahead. Who will not suffer suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Right, meaning the Lord ain't going to put nothing on you you can't handle, man. The Lord knows what we can handle and what we can't handle. You know what I'm saying? The Lord already gave certain portions to certain brothers. He, now look, this man can handle that much pressure. That man can handle that much pressure. Ain't no man, come on, man, because pressure busts pipes. That's right. You yeah. put too much pressure on a pipe, it's going to bust, man. That's right. And Lord don't want us to bust. You know what I'm saying? You just want to put that pressure on us, you know what I'm saying, to refine us. Everything we're going through now is to refine us anyway. You know what I'm saying? To make us better than what we were. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and he pressured all the dross, you know what I'm saying? The impurities that was on us from this world off of us. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so it's a beautiful story. Because yeah. the tempter is the spirit of demons, Satan, the demons, man. Right. You know, they're, they're, they're the ones that's tempting us. Uh, but the Lord, you remember what happened with Job? Yep. He had to ask. Yeah. You know? It's going to come to a certain point. You gotta believe this. The Lord's gonna tell Satan, "Hey, enough, enough is enough." Yeah, yeah. You good. Just like he told the spirit of demons, Satan. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want to him. Just don't take his life. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Take this from him. Take that from him. Look, don't touch him. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. Bring balls upon him. Do whatever you gotta do. Just don't kill him. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna happen to us, man. That's happening to us as we speak, as we make this video. That's what Job had to suffer. Right. He had to suffer. Right. But at the end, what he was found right. faithful. That's right, bro. And received more than he would yep. have. The story goes into that, you know what I'm saying? The end of um, Job and the end of um, Lord Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? was glory, man. That's right. So the end of us suffering is glory, man. A crown of life, Lord willing. That's right. Go ahead, brother. But we are with the temptation also make a way to escape. So why not trust in the Lord? Yes, the Lord said, yeah, I'm throwing all these different temptations. I got the tempt, the tempt in the hell out of you. You know what I'm saying? That, that was temptation right there. Mm -hmm. Right in front of our face. The Lord the Lord, though, man. <laughs> yeah, man. It was like, yo, we already see, we see out of mind state. The Lord got us in. Like, yeah. we see this folly right here. We see exactly what that person is doing. We're not even going to succumb to that. Look, keep reading. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, keep right. reading, the brothers. Focus with me. And it's like right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. The tip there is like, like right here behind this camera. You know what I'm saying? Not down the street, right here. Right. We overcome. We overcame that temptation, though. Yep. That's why the Lord said, He that overcome the um, temptation, a crown of life, going to be waiting on it. You know what I mean? That's right. Is this Satan? He shall yeah, he shall flee. It's part of it. You know what I'm saying? That was two ghouls and goblins right there, man. <laughs> two gargoyles, man. Any more to that, bro? Yeah, yeah.
that ye may be able to bear it. Right. So I know, going through something, just know you gotta know that you're able to bear it, man. Because the Lord wouldn't put you through nothing. If he if he didn't know you was you weren't able to bear it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gotta know that, man. Yeah. So let's read this last one. Yeah. Yeah. It's the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter uh, six, yep. verse ten. Yeah. It says, For the most high, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is not unrighteous right. to forget your work and labor of love. Right. And, and look, we're really going through it, but brothers still be getting them lessons in throughout the week. Yep. Still be coming out on the highways and byways every Saturday. No matter what we're going through, man. I mean, we're, 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 I mean, we really ain't going through as much as Lord Yahweh Shai, but we are going through our trials and tribulations each and every day, and it's turning up. The fire being turned up, man. We got, we got a whole lot of impurities, you know what I'm saying, within us, man, that the Lord's trying to get out of us before he come, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord don't want us half-assed, man. The Lord said, I'm looking for the true worshipers anyway. I got to put some fire to him to see if it is really the real deal. You know what I'm saying? The Lord looking for the real deal, man. And you see a whole lot of guys just leaving and running. I went from these fiery trials, where they're just like, oh, I didn't have enough. It's getting too tough for them, man. Pray for more endurance. Pray for more strength. That's what it's all about, man. The Lord said, if we lacking anything, just pray for it, man. Don't get to the point to where you're going through so much and you ain't praying. No, pray through those obstacles, man. Mm -hmm. You got it, man. It says, it's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, right. which ye have showed towards his name. Right, so we're coming in the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh oh, Shai. That's right. And everything that we go through is for the name of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Right. Lord sees our works, man. The Charity, right. brotherly love, things of that nature. Lord sees it all, man. That's right. On camera, off camera, the whole deal. Right. While you while you by yourself, the Lord see your works then. The Lord see your works with your brother. It's all um, incorporated together. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You got it, man. It says, in that ye have ministered to the saints. Once again, I mean, that's the spirit. That's like, remember, the Lord had me um, say earlier that we're here to serve. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're servants. That's right. The servant serves, man. The word minister means to serve. That's right. So we're here to serve, you know what I'm saying? The Lord willing, we'll be crowned later on. But we got to go through the servant part first. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're pretty much the waiters, spiritual waiters on the earth. You know what I'm saying? Waiting hand and foot on the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, giving them this food right here. You know what I'm saying? Because right. yeah. uh, when a rich man has a butler, if people think, oh, he's he's a butler, and you 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 a servant right. under that man. Oh, I would never be a servant, not knowing that most hey, most of the people that uh, have those butlers, those butlers are richer than the, than the average common yeah. man. Yeah, and that butler chilling too. Yep. <laughs> and, 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 and the um the rich man ain't putting too much on the butler because mm -hmm. he know he need that butler. That's right. And if he end up wearing out that butler, no sick because certain butlers, no saying, are pretty much um unreplaceable. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. So you got the elect of the nation of Israel, the men, Lord willing, we of that number. They're unreplaceable, man. Because they was created to be, you know what I'm saying, the servers, the servers, and the butlers through the spirit, man. That's right. You know what I mean, ain't too many of them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So the Lord's like, nah, 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 nah. I can't destroy him. I set him up to serve, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They serving the right way. You see, you got certain butlers just dropping shit all on the floor. But then you got certain butlers coming in, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying, organized, holding that thing out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well spoken, things of that nature. He's, he's treating his master. I uh, master, uh, what is the master has to do certain things that can aggravate. You know how people is, bro. Yes, sir. You got it. And it's beautiful to be that, be that servant because he's well off than the average person. Yeah, yeah. And if, and if anything happens to his master, you know what I'm saying, he's going to leave pretty much everything to that father. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the butler's going to become the master, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and that's how you know, the butler's going to have a butler, you know what I'm saying? And that butler knows how to treat his butler because he was a butler. That's right. See? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. It says, it says, and that ye have ministered to the saints. Which are the Israelites. We are here serving our people. Go ahead. It says, and do minister. Continue. We got to continue to do it. Right. Go ahead. It says, verse 4, uh, verse 11, like it. it says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. Right, that's our desire. Is that the new brothers that come in, you know what I'm saying, get on, get on board, start doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Putting in some work. Because it's not in vain. Go ahead. It says, it says the same diligence to the assurance of hope until the end. And that's what it's all about. The end. Mm -hmm. Enduring to the end. One more verse. It says verse uh, verse so, 12. Ain't we prisoners of hope? Yeah. Go ahead. It says that ye be not slothful meaning lazy go ahead it says but followers of them who through faith and right. patience right inherit the promise right just like Noah. you know what i'm saying through his faith he inherited the promises man mm -hmm. he got delivered that's right you know what I'm saying? He, he back now noah's back right now you know what I'm saying waiting on that crown too though that's right you know what i'm saying he had to come back for this last time you know what i'm saying just to be delivered again you know what i'm saying bro right. 
in a beautiful fashion, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's gonna be a fearful, you know what I'm saying? Devastating, destruction fashion, but nonetheless, deliverance is deliverance. Being saved by the hands of your chin and chin, 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 mm -hmm. and still being saved, that's right. deliverance, you know what I'm right. saying? So Lord willing, we're gonna endure and be delivered, man, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? We just gotta go through the suffering too. We gotta go through the suffering first, man. That's right. And then the deliverance comes next. That's right. Hey, you know, just say, just keep on believing, keep on trusting, and your whole about shot, man. Yep. Right, keep on praying to the Lord, repenting while we still can, and you know, trust and believe that, like Brother Beautiful said, according to the scriptures, that the Lord is not going to put anything above what you can, um, what you can handle. Right, right. So, and that comes with trust in the Lord. You gotta trust that the Lord will not do that to you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, hey, man, it's beautiful. You know, keep on trusting, keep on believing, Israel. You know. That we close out and give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how by Hashem, yeah, Shai, by Hashem, or Kakadash. And the devil honors our apostles and elders, a great millstone who do well, and tells the truth upon us the Bible. And shout out to all the brothers out there, the oh. people who are pushing this word, and our righteousness is a serious. Shalom. Shalom.